Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Twitch or T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a 132 to 6 groundward domination on the map Interchange. This is a ridiculous gameplay, and by that I mean ridiculously good. And it's just a really awesome gameplay. I really wish that it was mine, but it's a buddy of mine. His gamer tag on PlayStation is A. It's Justin, and I'll put his name in the description below. But he doesn't do YouTube, and he has some really, really good gameplays. <clears throat> And he's a member in the new clan that I joined into called In Clan Killers. And he asked me to upload a few of his gameplays. And he has this one, as well as a 92 and 0, as well as some other 100 pluses. So expect some gameplays of his in the future. And this gameplay is insane, guys. 132 kills. So he got the 100 plus, and then he got an additional 32 kills. And it even ended way early. He died off a few of his streaks. This gameplay could have been like 160, 170 kills. I'm not even kidding, this gameplay could have been even better, but by far this is the best gameplay I've ever uploaded to my channel. It's a lot better than any gameplay that I've ever had. I've had a lot of unique Moabs, and I've had four double Moabs, and some good gameplays, but nothing like this, guys. This gameplay is absolutely insane. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like or a favorite for Justin, I mean, this gameplay is ridiculous. He gets like a six-man feed right there, and uh, he... He practically has a Pavlo and an Overwatch up in the air the entire game. And uh, I don't even know how he, how uh, how many kills he starts off with. He starts off like 15-0 or something, and then he gets a stupid death. And then he ends up getting 6 deaths, and I really didn't want to cut any of it out. Because this gameplay is just so action-packed. And I didn't want to leave any of it out for you guys, because the whole gameplay is awesome. And uh, so I left the whole gameplay. It's about 8.5 minutes, but hopefully you guys don't mind that. Just because the gameplay is really, really good. He earns 5 Pavlos, I think, and he dies 1 off. So, it could have been a 6 Pavlo game. And, uh, I don't know how close he was to the Assault Moab, because his first streak right here, I swear to God, guys, he was probably on, like, a 23 gun streak, and he dies from an RPG right there. And then later on in the gameplay, he dies 1 off a of Pavlo from an RPG again. So, if it weren't for the player with the RPG, this gameplay could have been, like, 160 kills. I swear, guys, this gameplay could have been insane. But uh, even without that, guys, this gameplay is really, really good. Hopefully, you guys really enjoy it. Um, I want to uh, start uploading some other people's gameplays. In the past, a lot of people have asked me to upload, and I've always said no because I wanted my channel to be personal. I wanted to only upload my gameplays and only talk about my life and stuff like that. I wanted it to be a personal thing for me, but I've realized that if people ask me to upload and I have a YouTube channel, I might as well just upload their gameplays and help them out if they don't have a YouTube channel. And even if they do have a YouTube channel, I want to be a good person in the gaming community and help other channels out to help them grow. Because I know how hard it is to grow, and my channel is still really small, but I'm continuing to grow. So I want to uh, start uploading other people's gameplays. And if there's people like Justin, who have a really nice 100+, plus or just a really good triple Moab or double Moab or something, and they ask me to upload... I'm going to start uploading them most of the time. Maybe not all the time, but I want to start uploading other people's gameplays. And I'm not saying that because I don't have gameplays to upload for myself. I still have like over 100 Modern Warfare 3 gameplays saved up, guys. It's just I want to help other people out. And if people ask me to upload their videos, I want to do that now. And uh, I realize that I don't really need to show off on my channel. I don't need to only upload my gameplays to show how good of a player I am. I really don't care about that anymore. I want my channel to grow and be more successful, and I feel like for me to do that, I need to step up my gameplays, and I'm not the greatest player, guys. I do have good Moabs and some unique gameplays, but I'm not the best player out there, so I want to upload other people's gameplays who get ridiculously good gameplays like this, so uh, Justin has a few more that I'm going to upload. My friend Tanner has some nice infected Moabs and all or nothing gameplays, and there's some other people who have asked me to upload their double Moab or... Uh, and stuff like that. So I want to start uploading other people's gameplays. So if any of you guys have a PlayStation and have really good gameplays, let me know. Even if you don't have a PlayStation, you could send me a personal message of your good gameplay. And maybe I would upload it for you or something. I want to start giving other people shoutouts, even though my channel is really small. I do have about 320 subscribers with 13,000 total views. So my channel, although it is really small, it's continuing to grow. And it's going to keep growing over time exponentially. So I want to start helping other people out and everything. And uh, so I just wanted to mention that to you guys. Uh, Justin's class setup in this game was the ACR with silencer and extended mags. And I know he was using the ACR, guys, but it's still a really impressive gameplay. Anytime you get 132 kills, you have to play nearly flawless and play a really, uh, practically a perfect game. 
So I know he's using the ACR, but don't hate on him for that. It's a really good gameplay. And I'm not entirely sure because it's not my gameplay, but I think his perks were Scavenger, Hardline, and Marksman. I know that he was using uh I know that he was using uh Hardline and Scavenger, but I'm not entirely sure about the Marksman. He might have had Stalker on, but I can't really tell. But uh, I know he had those two perks for sure. And I do know that his kill streaks were the Predator Missile, the Overwatch, and the Pavlo. And that's a really nice setup for going for high kill games like this. The Osprey Gunner is always good too, but it takes a lot more kills. And uh, you frequently die close to the Osprey Gunner and you don't earn it. And the Predator Missile is a lot easier to earn and it leads you up into your Overwatch really easily. And, uh, and you can cycle through these ones a lot faster. And uh, if you can cycle through these fast like Justin does... You can basically have an Overwatch and a Pavlo up in the air the whole game. And I think that's pretty much what he does this game. He has both of his kill streaks up practically all game. He's getting a ton of gun kills. His Predator Missile gets like triple kills and everything like that all game long. And uh, this is honestly the worst enemy team that I've ever seen. I've never played against an enemy team this bad, guys. He got into the Magic Lobby. And uh, he also has a 92 and 0 that I mentioned a little bit ago. And that one, I don't really remember for sure if he was playing against enemies that look this awful. But, I mean, I've never really gotten into an, a lobby with players this bad. But, it's still a really impressive gameplay regardless of who you play. If you drop 132 kills, it's still really, really insane and impressive in my opinion. And, uh, this gameplay could have been even better, like I said, guys. He could have gone, like, 170 to, like, 3 if he didn't have his stupid deaths, but uh, it's really impressive in my opinion. I think he was practically playing solo. I know he was playing with one friend, but his friend wasn't running support or anything. He was either running assault or specialist, and he only ends up getting like 30 kills or so. And uh, so it's practically solo, guys, because he just has one other friend who does a little bit of stuff. But he has no support runners, no, uh, no teammates capping the flags or anything. And this gameplay also ended really, really early, guys. And I don't know if at the beginning if they kept off capping the B flag to make the game go on longer. So if they had done all of those things, if he hadn't died off his streaks, if, uh, if the game went on longer, if he had support runners, this honestly probably could have been a 200 plus. And I'm not even kidding guys, Justin is a really beast of a player. He has like a 3 point something KD and he's in my clan and he's just a really good player. So expect some more gameplays in the near future from him guys. And I thought Bleebly was the best player that I've ever seen. But uh, Justin's a way better player, guys. He's really insane. And my most kills in this game is 80. And my most kills in Black Ops 1 was 108. But I've never, ever been able to pull off a gameplay this good. So I thought you guys would really enjoy this. Uh, please leave Justin a like or a favorite, guys. Uh, I'm not asking that for me, but for him personally. Uh, I know that he watches my videos and he'll see this. And he'll really appreciate it if you guys could do that for him. And uh, just a really awesome gameplay once again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I do. I've already seen it like 10 times and I still enjoy watching it. And it's still really fun for me to watch. But uh, you guys will see the scoreboard here in just a sec. He goes 132-6 to six, playing Groundward Domination on Interchange once again. So hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. And this guy right here who gets the kill cam is the friend he was playing with I'm pretty sure. So hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.